Welcome to Tiger Bridge. In this video, we will demonstrate using Adobe Premiere with Tiger Bridge for extended video editing capabilities through the cloud. For that purpose, we have prepared a virtual machine in Azure and installed Premiere on top of it. Adobe Premiere is designed to work off a local drive and or network shares. Local drives and network share storage are expensive in the cloud, they offer limited performance, and aren't easy to access globally in a secure manner. We've prepared some storage instead and put some video files inside. If we click to open the account, go to Containers and open this one. We can see the files and folders that we have available there. The containers in Azure are far more cost effective to store lots of videos. They scale in performance and can be shared globally and securely. Adobe Premiere cannot connect to an Azure container directly. Tiger Bridge enables Premiere, running on a VM, to seamlessly connect to a shared Azure container. Now, we have to open Tiger Bridge and add a new local source. Let's take a look at the current setup of the VM. It currently only has a C drive and some temporary storage. We haven't purchased any additional storage. The idea is for this VM to be disposable when no longer needed. In the temporary drive, there is currently nothing only a data loss warning message. Going back to Tiger Bridge, we will add that D drive as a source and fill in the details for the Azure account we will use as a target. We can then list containers, select the one that holds our video files and click apply. We're ready to resume the work of Tiger Bridge and as soon as we do that, we can see that the D drive's folder structure gets populated from the cloud. We can open Adobe Premiere and create a new project now. We will name it Demo Project and save it in the temporary drive. Anything saved in the D drive is automatically written back to the Azure container. We can then import some of the media from the D drive to Premiere. We can see that this file, for example, currently occupies no space on the local drive. The size on disk is zero. However, it is still usable on demand. By dragging three of these files to Premiere, we can start our project. The files become usable in Premiere immediately. We do not need to wait for the full files to get downloaded. Tiger Bridge downloads the needed parts of the files when they are needed to enable smooth integration between Premiere and Azure. We can drag the files into the timeline as we would normally do in the beginning of video editing process. We can arrange, rearrange, and edit them as needed. Tiger Bridge enables multiple editors to work on separate timelines from different regions to access the same video content. If we scroll somewhere to the middle of the file, we can see that it plays smoothly, both audio and video, and we can do what's needed. Even if the internet connection isn't very fast, Tiger Bridge will cache the video data locally, so next playback will be even smoother. Tiger Bridge allows Premiere to edit directly from the Azure container. It only requires a very small amount of local storage to use as a cache. We can now save and close our project. Going back to this file, if we right click it and select properties, we can see that only a certain part of the file is downloaded, still not the full file. This other file, for example, got fully downloaded simply because it's a small file. Now, we'll open another project file that has been created somewhere else by someone else. When it opens, we can see it has several layers and uses different media files. We would like to make a change to this project, and for that purpose, we will add this Leo and Jeff video to the timeline at the end of the project. Take a note of the Blackmagic file that is also available here. Its total size is 112 gigabytes. Our local drive is smaller than that but we can still use this Blackmagic file because of the fact that Premiere doesn't need to download the full file when working with Tiger Bridge. Going back to our project, we can still scroll and edit as needed. The videos play as expected. Eventually, we can save and close the project to continue working with it somewhere else later. We're done with this machine. Tiger Bridge makes it fast and easy to fire up a VM access huge library of videos, do some work, and then destroy that VM. Just make sure your work is replicated to the cloud. 
Our replication policy has already replicated our changes, so now we can stop this virtual machine by going to the Azure portal. Stopping the VM deletes the temporary drive, but does not delete the newly created project that has already been replicated to the Azure container. After a couple of seconds, the machine is stopped, and we can start it again or start a completely different one. We need to wait for a couple of seconds, and then we can connect back to it with remote desktop. If we open the D drive now, we can see that it's empty again. As stated, this could very well be a completely different machine with Adobe Premiere installed. As long as we can set up connectivity from Tiger Bridge with the same Azure container, we can continue our work from exactly where we stopped. We will add the local source once more, fill in the required target details, and click Apply. In a moment, the D drive is populated again and we can find our project files. We can click to open the project we worked on. When it opens, everything is exactly where we left it. The video files are loaded to the timeline and we can carry on with our video editing tasks. This concludes the demo of showing how Tiger Bridge can help for smooth collaboration between Adobe Premiere and Azure. Tiger Bridge enables secure collaborative workflows to take place globally while greatly reducing cost of storing and sharing lots of videos and increasing available performance. Tiger Bridge can be used similarly for collaboration between other software products and the cloud as well. Thank you for viewing.